I'm giving her one ticket. Three, two. Hi guys, we're live here. It's Tracy Lynn. We're at China's Memorial tonight paying respects to a wonderful woman and here I have with me actor Scott Swartz. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Well, I wish we could have met on different circumstances. Yeah, you know, life is strange and yes. things happen for a reason and, you know, Joni, Joni had a lot of people that not only knew her, that, that knew her from being China, but knew her as a, as a nice, wonderful person and uh, the line outside shows that. It's great. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the line outside, we're going to showcase that a little later, but there's a lot of people here. She had a lot of people that loved her, a lot of fans, friends and family as well. So tell us your fondest memory of China. Uh, <laughs> Joni was always fun, and uh, I guess the most fun thing is I have a little three-pound chihuahua, and Joni loved dogs. So it was like the minute that Joni saw my little one, Miss Elizabeth, she was just all over. She's like, okay, mine. And I'm like, no, no, mine. And I'm like, and I was thinking, if she wants me to fight her for it, I'm dog meat. I'm going to, there's no way I'm going to do this. And I said, no, no, Joni, you got to get ready. She, so I said, you keep her for a little while. So I let her have her for a couple hours. And I mean, she sat there and I, I walked around the room and I watched her. And I mean, people came up and she's holding the dog with one hand and signing autographs with the, yeah. she was a very loving and caring woman. I mean, you know, and, and a lot of things have been said and a lot of things have been written. Um, you just got to know that the woman just really didn't have a bad bone in her body. I mean, yeah. she just was a sweet, sweet lady. Yeah, well, you know, I, sh I know that she was, you know, had that look, and I can obviously, you know, relate to that. So that look that she had, but she had such a great heart, and she was just a big softy and just a wonderful woman, and I'm glad that we can all be here to pay respects to her today. Uh, listen, you know, Anthony, who, who coordinated this whole thing, you know, you never know how you feel at these things. You know, it's a celebration of her life, and it's a chance for people to get together who haven't met her, all have stories about her, yeah. and uh, you know, sometimes life isn't fair and things just happen for a reason, and, and we don't know why. Yeah. And you know, she should still be here. She should be here for a long time, but you know, it wasn't meant to be, and, and, and hopefully the powers that be soon will put her in places, even though postmoniously, that she should have been already. But you know, we, uh, we just keep her in our hearts and in our thoughts and our memories. That's right. So we'll all be saying prayers tonight. I'm really glad that you can be here and join us, and it's great to see you. And what do you have coming up, Scott? Uh, I've got a, a pilot that I just did called The Comeback Kids. Uh, I'm the president of a child labor laws organiz organization called The Minor Consideration. Okay. And uh, I'm also going to be hosting a talk show. Great. So you guys can look on Facebook and other places when we... Uh... Do we get to know the name of the talk show? Nope, not yet. It's a secret. Nope. But it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun people on it. You know, kind of a retro show, 70s, 80s, 90s, of people that we all grew up with, or at least our generation grew up with, yeah. uh, sharing their experiences, the different people they worked with, and, you know, fun times that they had. Fantastic. And we'll also be featuring you on my radio show as well soon? Yeah, I'm going to come over. All Absolutely. Right. Let's do it. Well, again, we're here to support and pay respects to China. So glad to see you, Scott. And uh, we're going to go in and share memories with the rest of them. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you.